Carl Truman, the injury lawyer, joins us to talk about uh, some great topics of interest, especially with all of the snow and ice that's been around. Slipping and falling is a huge hazard. Mm -hmm. We've got a question about that. We've got a question about texting. Several right. items in the mailbag. Good morning. Good morning. Great. Great to be back again. Glad so so many us. times we have to get right to phone calls and right to questions, but we want to find out more about you, Carl. Tell, Tell us, us about you and how you got to be where you are today. Through a lot of sweat and hard work. That's right. <laughs> and military service, too. Yeah, 28 years in the Army Reserve and retired uh, last year as lieutenant colonel. I'm very proud of that and, and uh, want to thank all of the men and women serving overseas. Absolutely. It's uh, in harm's way. It's easy to forget about that when we're all safe here and, mm -hmm. and cozy in our beds and, and it's easy to, to forget about all the people that are in Afghanistan and still in Iraq. That's yeah. right and then we we see on your advertising when the colonel is standing up for us that's that's yeah. true he really is a colonel and that's the best part a military man through and through. Um, talk to us a little bit about the areas in which you practice law. Well we we focus just on personal injury matters, meaning that you know some lawyers want try to do everything, whether it's uh, wills and estates, and then do a divorce, and then do criminal DUI. You know, so so we don't try to do it all. We just focus on what you know we feel we do best is you know, all aspects of injury claims. It mm -hmm. could be in a, being in an automobile accident or being hurt on the job, right. or you know a disability claim. Uh, you know, I even do maritime claims on the river. All aspects of you know where people get hurt and we're having to hold someone else accountable for making bad decisions whether it is a bad decision on staffing or bad decision on driving and in uh, texting or mm -hmm. talking on your cell phone so there's a lot of issues like that 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 we look at well, speaking of texting while driving we yeah. actually have an email Carl this is from David and Lowell he says can you explain the ban on texting while driving that went into effect recently? I think the beginning of this year. Yes. I remember it passing, but didn't hear much about the specifics. This is a good question. I w I'd like to know well, something about Well, the specifics this. is don't do it. Exactly. <laughs> or you get a ticket. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, well, we've talked about for a long, long time now how dangerous it is to text on your cell phone and drive. Well, you know, Kentucky uh, did have the, I think, the wisdom and foresight to actually make that a a law which uh, is in effect now that you get a ticket if you're caught texting uh, while you're driving your car and and they're really doing it you know someone just told me the other day that a friend of theirs was at a stoplight and texting or they at least the police officer thought they were texting and they got a ticket wow. so they are really enforcing it and wow. as a comedian says if two hands are required to do something it's always a good idea to have your brain involved <laughs> Right, and that means driving, not texting. Right, exactly. Right. Wow, and then I, you know, I would wonder how how do they know you're not making a phone call or something? I don't, I wouldn't want to argue with them because they're trying to keep the roads safe. Or looking at my calendar, which happens to also be in my phone. I mean, any operation of the phone that is wait. not this yeah. is now against the law when you're driving or, not, well, or operating a motor vehicle, whether you're at a stop well, sign or not. I it's guess it's a good idea to just leave your phone alone while yeah. you're driving right. anyway. Use a hands-free or Bluetooth. That's what I was going to say. There yeah, definitely go. use that. But is it as easy as you can go across the river and, and text while driving because this is Kentucky? Well, a lot of states have different laws, of course, you yeah. know, and, uh, but hopefully it'll become more uniform. And it just really, it's something that just has got to be stopped because it is, it is more dangerous to text while driving than it is being drunk driving. Wow. That's a, that's Those are incredible statistics when you stop to think about it. Here's another snowfall and ice question. And mm -hmm. I know one of our salespeople actually had a, had a bad slip and fall, and so we know how badly you can hurt yourself when you fall. I live in an apartment. Well, I haven't gotten his call yet. So. Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to send him your way. I live in an apartment. I'm not sure who's responsible for maintenance dealing with winter weather. During the last snowfall, I slipped down my stairs at the complex and may have sprained my ankle. I don't have health insurance. Uh -oh. So would I be responsible? This is Julia in New Albany. She's not responsible just because she doesn't have health insurance, right? Well, to get to the doctor and get your treatment, yes, you're, you're responsible to get your right. to, to treatment. Uh, but that, you know, that question brings up kind of a side issue that is very important that people have to think about. When it, we involve uh, a commercial property, whether it's an apartment complex or a shopping center, you know that's why it's important to get us involved early in the process and quickly right. as possible because uh, the there can be multiple parties involved. You know, Kentucky and, and of course you can't say a blanket rule, but uh, generally speaking, under Kentucky law, you only have one year to make a claim, 
Indiana has two years. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, there's so many exceptions to that. So I, I can't say that every single case. So you can't just accept that, uh, right. you know, on its face value. But that one year, say in Kentucky, that can go by very quickly. And so what happens is that, let's say you're dealing with a, uh, an apartment complex or a shopping center. Well, you're dealing, you know, if you think, well, I have a, sh a claim against, you know, the, the store XYZ, whatever store it is. Well, you know, are they leasing the property? And is there a lease agreement? Uh, is there somebody else that's responsible for maintaining the property? Right. Mm -hmm. So there could be two, three, four people involved in that incident where someone got hurt. And uh, if you wait till the last minute and, uh, you know, you come see a lawyer and, that, and the time deadline is running soon, mm -hmm. you know, we don't have time to fully investigate it. Not a good wow. thing. If you're interested in talking to Carl Truman, especially our account executive who fell, uh, <laughs> dial 1-800-ACCIDENT or check trumanlaw.com and that's where the Colonel is going to be to answer your questions and uh, take you through the process. It's a, it's a daunting process sometimes, Carl. It is. It surprised me when I hear people think that, well, the insurance company will be fair with me. I can oh, yeah. do it myself. <laughs> I don't need a lawyer. I mean, this is all I do and I've been doing it for a long time and I feel like I learn something new every day. Thanks wow. for being with us today. Thank and you. once again, it's 1-800-ACCIDENT and TrumanLaw.com. Thank you so much, Carl Truman. Thank you. We'll be right back.